What are the Gospels in the Bible? What are the Gospels in the Bible? The Gospels in the Bible are the first four books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that offer different perspectives on the life, teachings, and mission of Jesus Christ, serving as the cornerstone of Christian belief. These texts provide a rich narrative on faith, love, and salvation. They're like four unique portraits of the same person, each revealing something special. What are the Gospels in the Bible? Please enable JavaScript. Video player is loading. Current time 0 o'clock. Duration 0 o'clock. Remaining time, 0 o'clock. Beginning of dialog window. Escape will cancel and close the window. Text color opacity text background color opacity caption area background color opacity. Font size text edge style font family. End of dialog window. What are the Gospels in the Bible? Gain an in-depth understanding of what the Gospels in the Bible are. Delve into who wrote them why they were written, and the fascinating narrative they bring to Christianity. If you've ever wondered, what are the Gospels in the Bible? You've come to the right place. The Gospels are the first four books in the New Testament and provide a detailed account of Jesus Christ's life, teachings, and the eternal message he conveyed. This extensive guide will take you through a journey across time, context, and content, to get you up close and personal with these seminal texts. What are the Gospels in the Bible? The term gospel comes from the Old English word gospel, which means good news. In the Bible, the gospels are four separate accounts by four different authors, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, each providing their own perspective on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. These books are the cornerstone of Christian belief, offering deep insights into faith, spirituality, and the human experience. Here's a table breaking down the four gospels in a friendly and informative way. Gospel writer date written description Matthew Matthew 80 to 90 AD Matthew's gospel is like the teacher's guide for understanding Jesus. It's geared towards a Jewish audience and highlights Jesus as the prophesied Messiah. It contains the famous Sermon on the Mount. Mark Mark 65 to 75 AD Mark is like the action-packed movie of Jesus' life. It's the shortest gospel and moves quickly through events, emphasizing Jesus' deeds more than his teachings. If you're in for a quick but meaningful read, Mark's your guy. Luke Luke 80 to 90 AD Luke is the compassionate storyteller, offering a very detailed account that emphasizes Jesus' love for all people. If you're into parables, Luke's the gospel with gems like the Good Samaritan and the Prodigal Son. John John 90 to 110 AD John takes a different approach. It's the poetic and philosophical gospel. It delves into the divine nature of Jesus, with well-known lines like in the beginning was the word. If you like to ponder deep thoughts, John is for you. I hope you find this table helpful. Not the most popular job back in the day, but his transformation shows the power of redemption. Mark interpreter slash writer Peter Mark wasn't an apostle himself, but he was a close companion of Peter. Think of him as the guy who took excellent notes while Peter told the story. Luke physician Paul Luke was a well-educated man and also wrote the Acts of the Apostles. Fun fact, he's the only gospel writer who wasn't Jewish. John Fisherman one of the twelve apostles John referred to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved in his gospel. He's also believed to be the longest living apostle and the only one not to die a martyr's death. I hope this gives you some fun and informative insights into the men behind the gospels. What do the Gospels represent? Each Gospel serves as a lens through which we can view Jesus and the good news he brought to humanity. The authors wrote them with the purpose of sharing Jesus' teachings, recounting his actions, and revealing his divine nature. Understanding the meanings and symbolism in each of the Gospels can really deepen your grasp of their messages. Here's a nifty table to give you a quick overview. Gospel central theme key symbolism what makes it unique Matthew Jesus as the king of the Jews lion Matthew aims to show that Jesus is the long-awaited Messiah, fulfilling Old Testament prophecies. The lion symbolizes royalty and power, fitting for a gospel that portrays Jesus as a king. Mark Jesus as the servant ox, or calf, Mark's gospel is the shortest and most action-packed. The ox or calf symbolizes service and sacrifice, aligning with the gospel's portrayal of Jesus as the ultimate servant. Luke Jesus as the perfect man man, or human, Luke emphasizes Jesus' compassion and love for all, especially the marginalized. The human figure symbolizes Christ's full humanity, showing us the ideal human being full of compassion and love. John Jesus as the divine son Eagle John focuses on the divinity of Jesus, using more abstract and theological language. The eagle symbolizes high-soaring theology and divine perspectives, a nod to the gospel's lofty themes. I hope this table helps clarify the unique flavors each gospel brings to the table. Isn't it fascinating how they each offer a different perspective on the same story? When were the gospels written? 
The Gospels were written between 65 and 100 AD. Although they weren't penned immediately after Jesus' death, they are backed by oral traditions and earlier writings that make them historically reliable. Knowing when each Gospel was written and what was going on in the world at the time can make reading them a whole lot more insightful. Here's a table to help you put the pieces together. Gospel estimated date of writing associated current history Mark 65 to 70 AD The first Jewish Roman war was underway, leading up to the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem in 70 AD. This tumultuous period likely influenced the sense of urgency in Mark's Gospel. Matthew 80 to 90 AD Still reeling from the destruction of the temple, Jewish communities were figuring out their identity without this central point of worship. Matthew addresses a primarily Jewish audience to show that Jesus is their promised Messiah. Luke 85 to 95 AD Luke writes in the context of a Greco-Roman world, capturing the universal message of Christianity. This was a time of Pax Romana, Roman peace, but social inequities were rife. Luke emphasizes social justice. John 90 to 110 AD The early Christian communities were becoming more distinct from Judaism. Persecution of Christians under Roman rule, like the Domitian persecution, had either taken place or was imminent. John's Gospel addresses these existential concerns with a deeper theological dive. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family, view all posts.